Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing just a real chill, get ready. Um, not that I'm leaving the house because you know, with everything going on, we're not really supposed to, but I figured, you know what? We're not gonna sit around and look like a slumlord for the entire duration of however long this nonsense is going to last. So if you want to maybe grab your makeup, watch this as you're getting ready, let's do it. So you will notice I do have my ear pot in. I just kind of want to listen to some music, but you know, unfortunately here on the YouTubes, you can't do that while you're getting ready, which I really think that that's unfortunate. I'm starting off just kind of with some under eye cream. This is the La Mer, what is this called? The Eye Concentrate. It feels so good in this little rolly it's not a rolly ball it actually this is it doesn't move this actually does not move this is by real techniques this is the under eye Re reviver it comes in a set there's like a skincare set and oh my gosh it feels so good like especially if you like do some pressure right here which normally for my night routine i will do but just get some under eye cream on i am going to use the swasu which I am still kind of in the testing phase. I'm gonna put that on the rest of my face before I put on any moisturizer. I'm only using a little bit of this. Um, I've been using it now for a little while and I have thoughts. For some moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. So I'm gonna let all of that sit and kind of marinate a little bit on my face. I am going to use for my eyeshadow primer, this is new to me, this is the Anastasia Eye Primer. And I know I'm supposed to be using stuff from my everyday makeup drawer, but I really have been dying to try this. It definitely cancels out a lot of the color on my eyelids and so far so good. So for today, I think, you know, let's do some color. Let's do something fun. I'm gonna be using the Alyssa Edwards palette by Anastasia. So the first color I'm gonna go into is going to be this one right over here. And that is in the shade, The Supreme. Now this color is actually very pretty as you blend it out. This is one of those, you could use it as a one and done as I like to call it, where you start it a lot lower down on your lid darker. And as the product kind of dissipates off the brush, you just kind of blend it upward. So next I'm gonna go into HOE, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna stop holding on this up because you know, you get to see my amazing Batman uh, Band-Aid that we got going on here. I'm just using that to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. I said colorful and here we are looking for <laughs> every day. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? But even these colors for every day are very pretty, which just means to me that the palette's quite versatile because you can use it for a really fun look or you can also use it. So you're gonna be able to get, you know, your money's worth out of it. So next I'm gonna go into the deeper brown shade called Back Rolls. <laughs> that name's Sister, that, that's funny. That kills me. And I'm just gonna concentrate that out on this outer area. So that one doesn't want to blend over the other colors as seamlessly as the first one. So I'm just gonna take a different brush and see if that can help it. So I'm just trying to pat it over just to kind of clean up. It looks, it just looks a little patchy and it's not blending fantastic. And it wouldn't be because of a primer because it wasn't used on top of the primer, it was used over the other shadows. So let's try the other side. 
So I'm gonna go in with the padding motion first. And then just kind of gently start swiping. And I'm, I'm using a very light hand, like I'm just trying to kind of buff the edges. Hmm. Okay, well, the only thing great about that color may be the name. I don't think that I'm a big, I'm not a fan of that color. It just doesn't, like it doesn't want to, to blend. Where's my Smith brush? That Smith brush can blend anything. Where is my brush? What the hell? It must be social distancing. I have my Smith brush. So let's see if it can work its magic because I'm sure that this brush can blend just about anything. Um, no. I mean, it's it's blended, it's not terrible. It's not blended like I like to wear my makeup, if that makes sense. So it's not really my preference. But yeah, no, that color is just not really, it's not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna go back in with that first color, Supreme, and just take it over the edge, just because I know that this one will blend out to like a very light shade so I have more of that gradient look and I hadn't planned on it but I think because of that shade completely betraying me I will probably cut my crease to put some shimmer or something on to kind of essentially to kind of cover some of that up you know I'm just going to try to pop this gold shade inspire I'm going to take that and just put it right in the middle just to see if I can kind of work with what I have here because I really don't feel like doing a cut crease if I'm being honest. All right, so I definitely think the gold saved it a little bit. And that is the color Inspire. So, well, I normally would just take the darker color that I used and put it on the bottom lash line, but we're definitely not doing that. So I think I'm gonna go in with a fun color. First gonna put on a brown eyeliner just so I have something to kind of smudge the color with. I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. Almost in my waterline, but not quite. Okay, I am gonna go in with um, this real pretty vibrant blue called Dream It, just on a angled wet and wild brush. And I'm gonna put that right over where I just did the eyeliner on a Morphe E36, kind of like a little pencil brush, and just kind of buff. Got a little carried away here. So I'm just gonna take one of my little fine point Q-tips and just clean up a little bit. So it's something, I mean, it's a little, it's just a little pop of color, but I would totally wear this to work. <laughs> um, because the blue is not as overbearing because I mixed it with that brown eyeliner. But, you know, I think it's nice. It kind of gives a little bit of color. And if you really, you know, just want to go there, you can mix in the purple shade, Believe. Um, and I will do that right here at the um, inner corner portion. Just so you have, you know, one more, one more tone. For me, that's a real easy way to use color, but to not, you know, not be kind of outlandish, especially like if you're wearing it to work. 
So I'm gonna take this Kylie pencil and fill in my brows just gently, just for my sparse areas. And I really only use the pencil to kind of give myself the shape because I will go in with another product here just in a second from Kylie. Oh no, please don't run out now. Don't you do it to me. I was so excited about using products up and now I'm like, oh God, please don't let me run out. I don't know why. I mean, I know you can order everything online, but I just, I don't like ordering makeup online. Like I want it now. So I'm gonna take the Kai Brow. This is in the shade Cool Brown. Um, very Anastasia-esque for dip brow. I have never tried the dip brow, actually, or have I? No, I haven't. I've only done the pencils. I would assume that it is similar, but I can't say in fact, because again, I have not tried, but the component and how you use both products looks very similar is what I'm saying. So I just put this on, I use, this is one of the very first makeup brushes I ever owned, a MAC 266. It's like an angled brush and it's very thick, um, but I use that so I just kind of get the color. I don't do so much of like the hair strokes with that. And that's it. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna go right underneath the brow bone with the color headliner. It's the pure white in this palette just for like a little lift right here. All right, for inner corner, um, normally I would use this Anastasia, the Amrezy highlighter for my inner corner. But since that's not in my everyday makeup drawer, I'm not going to use it. I'm gonna use my Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I'm gonna pop that in there slap on some mascara. I have been using this Wander Beauty. This is the Unlashed Volume and Curl. I do like this and it's not waterproof. Yeah, you see that clump like right on the end? Do you see that? Yeah, it's trying to do horrible things to me. I did get a comment on one of my last videos and I don't know how YouTube put it in spam, but they did and I found it. Um, but the comment was, it was roughly to the effect of why are you doing makeup when you're high? And I was like, what are they talking about? And I think it was in reference to my eyes being so red. Well, one, I'm not high. I don't smoke. I don't do any sort of illegal drugs. Thank you for that. Um, even though it's legal multiple places, it's not my thing. But one, I have pretty, pretty good allergies to pollen and it's pollen season. Two, I also have like, I don't, I don't know what they're really called, but like, I don't want to say growths because I think growth is like a very just negative word, but that's kind of what it is. I have like skin developments like right here on the inside of my eyes from not wearing sunglasses when I was younger outside. Um, it's almost like a buildup of, I can't remember what it's called. If I can remember, I'll link it down below for your reading pleasure, of course. But it almost creates like, um, there's kind of like little ridges, but they get really red and irritated because my eyes, when I blink, they don't touch my eyeballs all the way. If that, does that make sense? But that's why my eyes are normally red. Um, I put drops in, I try to keep them somewhat presentable for videos, but you know, this is just me. This is kind of, it, it is what it is. You know, I deal with kids asking me every single day, why are your eyes so red? It's because they are, because I'm mean. Um, no, but that's it. I mean, no other reason, no, no, no extracurricular reason other than I didn't wear sunglasses when I was younger all the time out in the sun. So kids, wear your shades. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through my foundation and I'll see you in just a minute.
And we are finished. Face and eyes all done. I hope that this video was kind of a nice little escape for you, a little relaxing, and also gave you a chance to see some products that maybe you have in your collection that you haven't used in a while. Or maybe it's some products that you have been thinking about picking up. So again, the, I did use the Alyssa Edwards by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I was really pleased with the performance of the shadows, except for this back rolls color. I will try it again though. Um, maybe it just needs to be the base color and not over shadows as much, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a list of things that you're doing to pass the time as we're all kind of staying inside down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and kind of engage in chat. And I hope that you are keeping well. Stay safe, my friends. Keep a positive mindset, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.